<laughs> Good evening from Oka, Anambra State of Nigeria. Welcome back to my channel. Let me shift back. Welcome back, guys. So, if you're meeting me for today for the first time, hello. My name is Linda, and I'm a mommy vlogger living here in Oka. For my OGs, welcome back again today. <sighs> With the title of this video, <laughs> I know you'll be confused. You'll be wondering. You'll be in anticipation. You'll be like, huh? You'll be like, huh? You'll be like, what? You'll be like, huh? Uh huh. Uh huh. Sit back, relax. I'm here to give you all the teas, and I will be right back. Don't forget to subscribe as you're waiting. Thank you. okay welcome back welcome back so before we start in case if you don't know i'm currently well i say i'm undergoing ivf treatment <laughs> anyways anyways okay so i'm a ttc mom i've been battling infertility for almost six years now yes and uh, I, of course, have been going through a lot trying to see that I conceive because one thing that a lot of people don't understand, especially people on YouTube, like when I come out here and say I have a daughter already and I'm desperately in need of another child, some people don't understand because they feel you even have a daughter and you're talking. What about those that don't have? My sister, my brother, let me tell you, if you happen, happen to be an only child, eh? <laughs> if you happen to be an only child, be it a girl child or boy child, and you're only, so come on, me go more, only you. <laughs> you understand why I am fighting and battling to have another baby? Yes. You can never find friendship that is blood related. Of course, there are perfect friends. Of course, I have wonderful friends but your blood is your blood okay Bam, your blood there is there is nothing to quantify blood okay so i will fight all i will fight to make sure that my daughter is not an only child Bam. and because i want more i will not rest until god gives it to me okay so leave it like that <laughs> moving on so i've been doing everything i will do there's nothing i have not virtually done this is backstory okay to be able to give my daughter a sibling and uh, i'm glad i'm happy i'm at that place that <laughs> i'm happy now yes i'm happy i'm at a place that <laughs> in wigum joy knowing that <laughs> the Lord is near. The table is turning around for my good. Yes, I'm proud to say it. Just chillax for this video. But before <laughs> you start jumping and jubilating, I'm here to quickly share with you guys all the things that you should expect if you're going through IVF. And um, these are things a lot of people don't share these are things because i wouldn't want to come and share it i never wanted to share it because i wouldn't want people to feel like i can't do this you can do it okay but i just want to share so that you get your mind ready so that when it will start happen you will not feel that you're alone or that your case is different i think almost 70 percent of every woman who go through ivf faces this same issue i'm here to share it and prepare your mind okay yes and also, if even if you're not going through IVF, at least you have the knowledge, you know about it, okay? No knowledge is a waste. So, from my first cycle and this current cycle, one thing I have noticed is weight gain. Each time I am on that, there are hormonal pills and injections and all that, I tend to gain a lot of weight guys i've added a lot of weight if you know me you know 
I've added a lot of weight so expect to gain a lot of weight if you're going through IVF as long as you're taking all those pills and injections and drugs expect to get fat okay uh -huh. second thing that I have equally noticed that had happened previously and currently is being bloated being bloated happen even with natural conception like when you sometimes some women when they ovulate and they get bloated some women when they get pregnant early stages of pregnant they get bloated but once i'm taking i'm on the drugs i always tend to get bloated guys if you see my tummy okay i will just wear my nighties and take a picture that i will use for the thumbnail of this video you will think that i'm pregnant if you see my tummy you will think that i'm pregnant so that's another thing that happens with it you get so bloated your tummy bulges out as if you're pregnant while you're not like you can't talk in i'm that type of person that naturally talks in my tummy i don't know how to say but we call it talking like you you drag your tummy in when you dress and you're going out you just be yeah, foggy you know so but with this feeling you cannot actually be yeah, half the possible so that's another thing that you will expect okay <sighs> emotions your emotions like the thing they stop seeing like i feel so emotional these days so so emotional like every little thing you trigger me like i feel like crying i know during the time i was pregnant with my daughter i used to like lock myself in the room and start crying there was at some point i had to tell my husband that didn't don't ask me why <laughs> when i was pregnant with my daughter i had to tell my husband so each time i'm ready that i feel like that i'll just tell daddy oh yeah go open and he'll say hey mommy try yeah dear i say no he will just leave the room for me and i'll lie down on my bed and cry my cry and as i'll be crying it i'll sleep up sleep off it happened with me with my daughter but this one not that i just feel like i want to cry but any little thing like maybe any little vexing or call it will trigger me and the next thing i'll feel like i want to cry like my emotions these days eh? hmm then another thing because i don't want this video to be too long another thing is always feeling heavy in your face like i don't know how to explain this one all the time you will look like you just woke up mm -hmm. this feeling you, you women who are pregnant usually have these feelings or this face or this type the type of face uh -huh. but with this i've noticed both the first and the second one that all the time i feel like i just woke up there's no time you see my face and it will be okay i don't know how to explain it like i don't know if it is the fact that is fatting my face but at least you should identify when somebody just woke up and when somebody had been awake all through the day you understand yeah but with these ones i've noticed that i always feel like i just woke up any time any day adam can just take an order that is another feeling that I equally have with this that I have noticed both the first and this current one hmm then finally guys <laughs> get ready for abscess abscess like injection wound abscess cannot be bomb all those progesterone injection it can stuck on somebody's body eh? <laughs> like the thing you no know, they melt if you touch my buttocks nah. <laughs> brother you marry me better that's another thing that i had battled with the tummy injections or the lap injection i don't have issues with it the only one i have issues is with this buttock injection and that we are ml injection called ml injection mr or ml it's not easy so these are basically the ones that i think that are not pleasant to me the the ones that i think that it's not easy uh -huh, but it is easy because <laughs> you understand uh -huh. 
I'm feeling all these things. I even feel it. Some women even feel it when you get pregnant. So why won't I even feel it now? Knowing fully well that at the end I'm gonna celebrate. You understand what I mean? Bam. So I just decided to come in here and throw it here. And then to end this video, there's something I want to clear here. I've been getting DMs, people asking me this IVF. The some people misunderstand IVF from okay let's say embryo transfer from uh, embryo selection i don't know how to explain okay like people think that once you pay to do ivf that you have paid for like that they will select the embryos they are giving you like if you're going for ivf you are now capable to tell the doctor that you want a male child or a female child if you're going for ivf no let me put it here i've answered everybody that asked me that question but I, I also want to get it out here in case if you're wondering if you're going for ivf you don't know the baby okay unless if you're specifically going for gender selection ivf okay this one you will pay extra i think with my current hospital they charge six million or five million for gender selection okay this one they'll have to be sure of the sex that they're giving you the embryo have to pass through a lot of tests and machines to be able to ascertain that yes this one is a male and this one is a female but generally IVF is IVF you don't know what you're gonna have it is still based on God but English had already already made it easy as well for people who have the money to equally do gender selection but it is expensive so I equally want to use this opportunity to clear it here if you're wondering Je uh, sex selection in IVF is different from normal like IVF conception okay thank you so much for watching if you watched up until this point which I know that you did thank you don't forget to subscribe and I will see you again in my another video don't forget I'm still your babe Lily Poops TV and I sign out. Bye!